Even though Windows has language packs for almost all languages in the world, Windows is not really supposed to be used in other languages than English. That is why even if you don't know English, you still have to use an English keyboard layout to efficiently use basically any computer with any operating system, Windows included. But to be able to type in your own language, you most definitely will need to use another keyboard layout, especially if your language uses some other kind of alphabet, for example, Cyrillic. And you definitely have to switch between those two layouts while typing. You can do that with your mouse by clicking the little language icon next to the clock in Windows tray, but that's not exactly efficient because you have to move your hand from the keyboard to the mouse and back. That is not the most efficient way. That's why most users will switch language using a keyboard hotkey. Since Windows 8, Microsoft tries to push the Windows key and spacebar key combination to switch the languages. This is kinda universal, since you can basically use the same combination to switch input languages in Windows, Linux, macOS, Android and other operating systems. However, if you are not new to Windows and have been using Windows at least from Windows 95, you most probably have another key combination to switch languages engraved in your brain. By default, Microsoft offers Shift and Alt key combination to switch languages. The problem with that one is that if for some reason you press Alt and then don't press Shift, for instance, if you failed to hit the right key, or maybe you changed your mind and decided not to switch the languages. So in any case, if you just press and release Alt, you will go to the upper menu of the interface, that is File, Edit, View and so on, and the keyboard will start to control the drop-down menus from there. This is very, very annoying. That's why most people will use Ctrl key combination, so that is Ctrl Shift, to switch between the languages. A bonus to that is, as those two keys are usually located together, you can press them both with one finger, which is not possible with Shift and Alt, because they are kind of apart on the keyboard. However, later in Windows 10 lifespan, and in Windows 11 from the start, Microsoft introduced a very, very annoying language switch pop-up when you press Ctrl and Shift. This pop-up will not appear if you press and release both keys simultaneously, or if you press Shift first and then press Ctrl. But if you do the opposite thing, first press Ctrl, then press Shift, release Shift, and then still hold Ctrl, this pop-up will appear. If you do that quick enough and often enough, there will be constant flickering in the right part of your screen, which is very distracting. This is especially annoying when you're typing some kind of texts where you have to use both your own language and enter some English terms. Or for example, when you are writing code in English and then use your own language for the commentary. And in some cases, you can see the semi-transparent traces of this pop-up when you play games, since it is very often to use both Ctrl and Shift in games. For example, you may hold Shift to run and also use Ctrl to sit down or slide. So more often than not, you will press both of those keys in especially first-point shooter games or in third-point shooter games, and this pop-up will nag you all the time. There is no official way to disable it, so this language bar pop-up cannot be disabled anywhere in Windows settings, and there is no Windows registry settings you can toggle to switch it off. Again, this pop-up screen does not annoy Windows developers, since they don't use other languages than English, and I don't think they even know this pop-up exists in the first place, and how really annoying it can get after a single day of massive work in Windows, or a night of gaming in Windows. Sometimes I doubt that Windows developers even know other languages, alphabets and keyboard layouts even exist. Basically, Windows doesn't care about other languages. However, there is a solution, and it includes patching one of the 
Windows system files. There is a third party open source patch script which you can download from GitHub, but this script is in Python, so if you don't have Python installed, first you have to download Python version 3.0 or later and install it to your Windows operating system. At the very first screen of the installer, make sure to tick the box that is named Add Python to Path. This will allow to run Python from anywhere on your system, without the need to specify Python location each time you run a Python script. Anyway, after the installation is done, optionally you may make sure that Path to Python has been added to your Windows environmental variables in the path section, and just to make sure this has been applied to your system, reboot your computer. After that, go to this link, which you can find on my website in the description. This is the Python script which will patch your Windows. Since this is GitHub, you have to click code, then click download zip, then go inside this zip, copy the folder that's inside, and paste it to the root of your system drive, that is disk C. By doing this, we have extracted the contents of zip archive to our C drive. To make things a little bit easier, rename the folder to one. So the folder now has a name of a single digit one. Now open command prompt with administrative privileges. A UAC prompt may appear, click yes. So by default, command prompt opens in Windows System32 directory, so we have to change that to the directory where we have extracted the contents of the zip archive, that is C1. Of course, you can open command prompt from File Explorer directly in that folder, but in this case, command prompt will not be run with administrative privileges, which we need. So it's easier to open command prompt with administrative privileges the way I've shown. So to change the directory to C1, input this command and press enter. The directory has now changed. To make sure this is the correct folder, type dir and enter. This will list the files that are in this folder and you can see this is our script. So there are only two commands which you need. To activate the script, you have to type python use patch.py. This will apply the patch and the change will be permanent. So you don't have to reapply the patch or even keep the script folder. The change will persist until some kind of Windows update or maybe Windows health check does not replace the file that we patched. If you want to remove the patch, the command will be python of patch.py. Keep in mind that the patch restarts Windows Explorer, which is responsible for drawing everything on your desktop, including the Windows titles and the taskbar, so there may be some blinking while the script runs. The script uses task kill to end the Explorer process, and some users reported that the script starts to complain that task kill is not recognized as an internal or external command which is very strange since TaskGill is built in into Windows. So if you experience this error, make sure that TaskGill is present in your System32 directory. If not, use some other Windows installation to copy TaskGill.exe from there or download this file from the internet and place it in System32. Or if the file is present there, copy all the script files to System32 directory and run the script from there. You don't really have to worry about this patch, because I've been using this both on Windows 10 and on Windows 11 for at least two years now, and I never had any problem with the patch, and even game anti-cheats do not seem to mind that one of the Windows files is patched. Anyway, after we apply the patch, you can clearly see that pressing any combination of shift and control in any order does not invoke this annoying pop-up. This method works both in Windows 10 and Windows 11 and provides an easier way to get rid of this pop-up without the need to adjust your typing habits by changing and getting used to some other key combination to switch between input languages in Windows. All the links mentioned could be found on my website in the description below.
I am the god of YouTube. Like, subscribe, thanks, jingle bells.